Hey, what is good, my fellow YouTube fam? It's your boy Aaron speaking. And over on my Instagram, which you should follow me at, at it's Aaron speaking, I randomly made some story polls where I took two albums and put them together and asked which album is better. And it was pretty fun, and a lot of people participated. So we gonna talk about it, fam. So the first poll I put was Jay Z's 444 and Kendrick's latest Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. I don't know why I put these two together, but for some reason I was just looking at Kendrick's album. I look up and I see my little Jay-Z section of my CDs and I see 444 and I'm like, not only are they kind of like similar in color scheme <laughs> in the in the covers, but I feel as if those albums, it's a good comparison, at least to me. And most people voted for Kendrick. I was actually a little surprised. Maybe it's recency bias. I'm not too sure. 221 people voted for that and 135 people voted for 444. So I don't know. How you guys feel about that? And next we got Schoolboy Q's Blank Face versus ASAP's Long Live ASAP. I was not surprised by these results, but at the same time, I feel as if a lot of people haven't even heard it or they haven't heard it in a while. And you know what I'm saying? I, I get maybe it's just straight nostalgia for ASAP and that project and the time period. I'm not sure, but I get it. I think Long Live ASAP is a better album. So it honestly ran away with it, fam. 298 votes to 69 votes for Blank Face crazy next we got juice world's death race for love versus don toliver's life of a don i thought this was a dope comparison bro like both albums are phenomenal and it seems as if death race for love kind of ran away with it with juice world getting 276 votes and don toliver getting 101 so interesting next we got a little interesting battle i'm not gonna lie we got roddy rich's please excuse me for being anti-social versus ski masks stokely and it's kind of even bro kind of even i really don't know which album is better because i love them both if it was up to me <sighs> damn that's actually really really tough fam because war baby is one of my favorite songs and ski mask with nuketown and so high and get geek there's a lot of tracks on there but i don't know i have no idea Roddy Rich got 208 votes and Ski got 164, so a little more even than the previous ones. Next, we got a super tough one, bro. At least to me. The Blueprint versus Get Rich or Die Trying. I really didn't know who was going to win this shit at all, but it seems as if 50 is on top with this one. 241 votes to 144, bro. Crazy. Next, we got two classics right here. The game's first project, the documentary versus Nas's comeback album Stillmatic and I was a little surprised not gonna lie but I kind of agree I do think Stillmatic's a little better than that project even though that shit's a classic they're both classics but you get what I mean 197 votes to 126 Ooh, we got a tough one fam we got a close one we got a close one man this is not easy and give me props for this comparison come on son <laughs> Next, we got two classics, in my opinion, and I think this is a dope comparison. Pop Smoke's Meet the Woo 2 versus Chief Keef's Finally Rich. I was not surprised by this, to be honest, because, come on, Finally Rich is, at this point, like, genre-defining. But Meet the Woo 2, don't sleep on that. That shit is definitely a classic. But yeah, this one kind of hurt me. This one kind of hurt me, I'm not gonna lie. And yo, look at the spacious background that goes perfect with Men on the Moon. But anyways, don't get me wrong. Drake's project, great. You could say it's a classic. But I just love Man on the Moon 3 so much. But it's not like it ran away with it or anything. But yeah, that's that. <laughs> Next, we got, in my opinion, one of the toughest decisions out of all of these. Astroworld versus Love is Rage 2. I'm kind of surprised that Astroworld beat it by this much. I think they're both classics and just kind of the same. Like, in terms of how much I love them and how great they are. But yeah. Astro World wins. Now, this one has to be the most difficult decision out of all of them, fam. 6ix9ine's Day 69 versus Nas's Illmatic? Come on. 6ix9ine's album is a classic. Next, we got YG's My Crazy Life versus Freddie Gibbs' Alfredo. And I'm a little disappointed, fam. Don't get me wrong. Alfredo's a really good album, but I feel like y'all sleeping on My Crazy Life, fam. This is one of the best projects of 2014. Such a fire-ass album, but hey, it is what it is. Next, we got Lil Baby's My Turn versus Lloyd Banks' The Hunger For More. And damn, bro, y'all sleeping on Lloyd Banks, fam. Like, this shit is a classic, bro. I'm really disappointed in y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Like, come on now. Next, we got two 2016 classic projects with Jeffrey and Lil Boat. And this was kind of tough for me because Lil Boat has a very special place in my heart and so does Jeffrey. But I definitely agree that Jeffrey's a better project, so... 
You guys, you guys did good on this one. Jeffrey. Lobo. Yo, this is a landslide, bro. God damn. All pun intended. Damn. Destroyed Dark Sky Paradise, fam. Wow. That's all I gotta say. Don't get me wrong. I do think Damn is the better album, but damn. <laughs> damn, Sean. Next, we got a fun one. I thought this was a dope comparison. Donda versus EA. And I personally feel like EA is a more well put together project. The concept is better in my opinion. Both EA and the Deluxe is great. Donda's a little bloated, especially with those part twos and whatnot. But yeah, Donda won. Next, we got Pop Smoke's Meet the Woo versus 21 Savage's Savage Mode 2. I wasn't surprised at that one, but I didn't think it would be that much of a landslide, bro. Meet the Woo 1 is dead ass fire. And from beginning to end, I feel like it's a more i don't know it's a dope listen maybe it's my new york bias coming out of me you know that brooklyn bias but it is what it is savage mode 2 is definitely a dope ass project so it's all good Whew. this one was close i was checking it all day and it was at 50 50 for literally pretty much the whole time but it seems as if life's a trip won by a tad bruh this one was really close, man. 2018 classics, bro. Ooh, this one, this one is tough. I have a graduation poster and a rodeo poster on my wall, bro. So this shit is not easy. My 11-year-old, 12-year-old self is like, bro, you better pick graduation. But my older college self is saying, fam, come on, rodeo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, wow, this is really tough fam let me know what you guys think about this one here we got two legends going at it bro biggie's greatest hits versus tupac's greatest hits and it seems as if tupac won by a little bit i kind of agree because i've always been a tupac guy even though i'm from brooklyn i love biggie don't get me wrong but something about tupac's aura his swag the demeanor the aggression i don't know the poetry i've always been a little bit more of a fan but yeah this was close. And last but not least, we got MGK's Tickets to My Downfall versus X's 17. And as much as I love Tickets to My Downfall, 17 is just, it's hard to beat that. That's definitely a classic, SoundCloud classic, so different and innovative. Yeah, not surprised by this one. But yeah, that's pretty much everything, fam. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments how you feel about all this. Like that bad boy up, and I'll check you guys in the next video. Peace.